Hi, my name's Fionn and I was working within the responsive group this year. What does responsive mean to you? Responsive to me means as, as artists, we respond to content, which is often text, creating a way to bring that content to life or finding a way to represent that content effectively. By responding to content, you are given a great deal of freedom for personal interpretation, but also being guided by a brief. What inspired your work? So for the responsive pathway, my work was heavily inspired by educational content for children, as I feel like it's really important to make learning fun and engaging for children. I responded to several TED Ed talks about deep sea creatures, where I then created a series of interactive elements, such as games, quizzes and animated posters. I decided to focus on more digital elements due to the fact in today's society more and more children are spending time on their screens and I felt like through creating content that's suitable for screens it could spark more interest in children by encouraging learning while also having fun. By working within the responsive pathway this, is, this then gave me the skills and knowledge which I then incorporated in, into my end of year final project. How has your visual language developed? Personally, I think my visual language has developed massively throughout my time at university, especially within this last year. My visual language has transformed and become very bold and graphic, which has also been inspired by my love of bright and bold colour palettes. My visual language has also been influenced by my sense of humour, which I now incorporate a lot of puns and humorous elements within my work to reinforce a sense of positivity. What is your next project? I have a few exciting new projects on the horizon. I'm currently working on creating more educational content for children as the responsive pathway has really ignited my passion for making learning fun and engaging for children. I've also been pursuing a lot more freelance work, which, is, which has been a great opportunity to be able to do both, especially with freelance illustration, as it's given me the chance to work with some really great clients and create artwork for a really good cause. Hi Laura. Hey. Can you tell me how you stay productive during the pandemic? Yeah, I mean, I just try and get up and get ready, do my makeup and I just kind of, you know, sit on my desk and try and draw as much as I can. But it is difficult sometimes. Okay. Why did you choose responsive? Um, I, I think the word just to respond to something kind of gave me like a goal rather than like something else that seemed really like broad. So yeah, just knowing that I had to respond to something really helped me with that. So, yeah. And what inspires your work? Um, sounds kind of odd, but I'd just say like me, but like my past self. I used to like journal all the time and I still do. Um, so I just like extract that feeling and pull it into my work now and kind of just like challenge it. And I guess it helps me like heal with a lot of things I've been through as well, so yeah. How would you say your visual language has developed since being irresponsive? Uh, a lot. I used to just draw and that was my thing, which is fine. And then over kind of Christmas, I, I started to bring my words into my art. And then I made these like big poems and that was really cool. And I got loads of great feedback on that. And then since lockdown, I had the time to just like draw kind of small again. And I've kind of mingled my drawings <laughs> with my words. And I think I've made some cool like illustrative poems. So nice. yeah. <laughs> what are you working on now? Um, I'm working with this artist called Violet Skies. She kind of deals with heartbreak and writes those songs about it, so we're going to make something really cool out of that. And a few little companies in Bristol, and just I think a couple more artists I got uh, reached out to and they're responding, so it's all good at the moment. Nice. <laughs> so, Thanks yeah. so much. That's okay. Bye. Bye. The responsive pathway allowed me to understand my working style a lot clearer, being influenced by a piece of text, song or subject, and then having the freedom to interpret that as I felt fit was refreshing. Responsive for me gave me the opportunity to explore material processes in, an, in order to communicate to an audience in the way I feel comfortable with. Looking back at the beginning of term, I can see how this pathway has encouraged my work to become more personal and expressive. Under Milk Wood by Dylan Thomas has inspired most of my work over the past year. I read the book last year and found it charming and amusing. 
the characters in the story and the relationship they have with with one another are entertaining to imagine, which is why I wanted to explore their personalities through illustration and animation. It's a piece of literature that was already been heavily explored, so it was a fun project to see what my own interpretation of the story would look like. I understand my own visual language so much more now than in comparison to the beginning of the year. My visual language is much less restricted now as I am less worried about how the final product will look and I engage much more with the making of the piece. I think my visual language now seems much more natural and free. I hope this is communicated to the viewer. I've got a couple of projects on the go at the minute. My main focus right now is to develop my digital skills. I'm trying to learn more about After Effects and the digital side to animation whilst I have the time. Um, I'm making a few short adverts for local businesses to practice what I'm learning. I'm also selling clay products online in the meantime, so I still get to do some hands-on work. But yeah, that's it really. Okay, we're here with Ellie. Could you tell us how to stay productive during a pandemic? Yeah, sure. Um, I think it's really important when working from home to have like a good working space set up just to kind of keep work life and home life separate. Um, so I've made space to do my work and keep it kind of organised, so that's really helped me. Um, and also, it's kind of encouraged me to try new things that I wouldn't have, just because we couldn't do what we originally planned for the degree show. So, new opportunities to try things. Okay, cool. And you're on Responsive. Could you tell me why you chose that? Yeah, I think Responsive gives you a really good opportunity to um, show a unique perspective on something. So I always find when starting a project it really helps me to have kind of starting points. So taking something that's already out in the world and showing my version of it. What inspires your work? Uh, so I chose to respond to a song because I felt it already had a really clear narrative and I wanted to kind of do my own take on it. Okay. How do you think your visual language has changed? I definitely think Responsive Pathways really encouraged me to develop a stronger visual language. Um, just because it encourages you to think so much about how your work is interpreted um, and how it comes across to people. Okay. And what's next for you? Uh, so I've been making films uh, and I've really enjoyed it. It wasn't something I originally planned to do, but I'm keen to do more of that. Okay, well, thanks for your time and we'll see you soon, Ellie. Thanks, bye! bye. <laughs> Responsive means to me a reaction of some kind. Um, so to respond is to react to something that you care about or something that you're passionate about. Um, my work is mainly inspired by mental health and psychology. I'm interested in how the mind works and how it processes things and how that differs for different people. Um, I think my visual language has developed uh, by trying different methods um, to figure out what works best um, and I've definitely learned that a material can affect where a piece of work can function um, and be in the correct context. I'm hopefully doing a master's in arts, health and well-being and I'm hoping to work more with the NHS. Responsive means to me to visually react to the information and generate images that I feel illustrates and suits the text or information. For example, I responded to an analytical text called Animal Behaviours and Animal Farm by George Orwell, and I use these texts to begin the projects and the sources of inspiration. 
I think to respond to a text or piece of music or scenario, for example, means illustrating how it makes you feel and finding imagery that explains its context visually. So I chose to make imagery that contrasted with the text. My work has been inspired by thinking about how humans and animals relate. I began with responding to texts that were simply about animal characteristics. This then led to linking animals and human characteristics that was um, inspired by Animal Farm. And this led to swapping humans and animals roles and exploring the contrast between wild animals and domesticated humans. Uh, my work has evolved from 2D work to costume and set design. I've been experimenting with filmmaking. I found that I enjoy communicating ideas through moving image whilst working with collage. For my next project, um, I'll be making a music video for a band, Dattle Terror. Uh, this will involve making visuals that suits the music, making props, designing the sets, filming and editing. Um, I'll also be working on the album art, so I'm looking forward to responding to the music when making the artwork, rather than responding to text, which is what I've been doing a lot of lately. I think it'll be fun to find ways to link the imagery together, so linking the album art and the music videos together. I think that'll be fun.